I got this message from Bill over Christmas when I was talking to my aunt. She was watching one of my videos. She saw me catch a pretty good sized fish. She was asking, oh my God, you're letting it go. And I said, yeah. And I'm gonna tell you why I let them go. Take a look at this. You can see I highlighted smallmouth and largemouth bass because that's primarily what I fish for. That's pretty much all you're gonna see right here. You can see January through March 31st, you can catch maybe two fish. Uh, one can only be bigger than 16 inches. April 1st to May 14th, two fish limit, no length limit. May 15th to June 15th, catch and release only. June 16th to June 30th, two fish daily limit, no length limit. And then July through December 31st, you can catch five fish every day with no length limit. Now that's just the general New Hampshire laws for like lakes and ponds as far as catching smallmouth and largemouth bass and as far as what you can actually keep per day. So yeah, you can catch tons of fish, you can keep tons of fish. But let's talk about some toxins now and the reasons that I don't eat fish that often. Now let's look at the laws, New Hampshire state laws according to eating or fish consumption. So here's the first big issue. Mercury. Fish contain a ton of mercury and you got to be careful when you're eating it. So right here you can see the law it says pregnant or nursing women can safely eat one eight ounce meal of freshwater fish per month. Children age seven can safely eat one ounce or one four ounce meal of freshwater fish per month. Other adults and children age seven and older can safely eat four eight ounce meals of freshwater per month. Why is it so much higher? It says uh, when eating bass limit consumption of fish 12 inches or less in length. But some of those length limits of of the fish you can catch like in your daily limit, they can be bigger than 16 inches, but the state says not to eat anything bigger than 12 inches. That's why I wouldn't keep any big fish, especially I'm not gonna eat a big fish like that, a big bass, because one, there's gonna be more mercury in it. They're eating all the little fish with the smaller amounts of mercury, so it's just compounding that in the big fish. So the only reason to keep a big fish is for a mount. Why don't I keep a fish to mount on my wall? Because I don't want to do that. You can always get a, a replica of the fish you catch. So if I take really good pictures, you know, like uh, I square the fish off so it's like this. Let me grab a fish and I'll show you. So let's say I caught this fish, right? All I'd have to do is take a picture like this. Just a nice picture so the person making the re replica can replicate it. The uh, look of the fish and what it looked like, you know, scars, lines, patterns, all that stuff. You also want to measure the fish. So you want to nose to tail or mouth to tail. You want to get that length limit and then you want to get a, a circumference. So how fat that fish was. You want to know how big it was. And then you can let that fish go and go back and do its thing. And then you can get a replica made without hurting that fish any further. And you have a nice replica for your wall. That's why I don't keep big fish for mounts. I'm not going to keep a big fish to eat because of the mercury levels. And you can always get a replica made and you still have that fish to possibly go catch again. So aside of mercury being an issue when you're eating fish, there's also what's called, is it a PFAS? I believe that's what it is. Here, look. Wow, can I even say that word? PCB. Polychlorinated biethanols contaminated. Contamination in several locations. So we have another contaminant, which is a byproduct of textiles and aluminum and stuff like that. Uh, that has been dumped into our water systems in New Hampshire via our ancestors manufacturing and stuff. So it says no fish can be consumed from the Atascrondon River from Berlin, New Hampshire, south to the main border because of the PCBs. And then here's additional consumption guidelines uh, for PFOS, polyfluorocetane sulfonate acid, whatever. PFOS is what the issue is. So we can see largemouth and smallmouth bass, three meals a month out of Beaver Lake and Dairy, Robinson Pond. These are just specific body waters that have high levels of the PFOS chemicals. So on top of eating fish with mercury and PFOS, that's an issue. And the mercury levels, again, say only to eat fish that are 12 inches or smaller, especially for large mouth and smallmouth bass, which is typically what I catch. What's another, what's the other reason I was gonna tell you? Oh, I was telling my mom to, for, as fishermen, anglers, if we wanna have our fishery be more healthy and catch bigger fish, say we want larger bass when we go fishing, which we all do. If you go out to your fishing hole and you're typically fishing and you see a lot of smaller fish, you know, 16 inches or less, there's just a ton of them and you're not catching anything big, there's an issue there. There's big fish in there, but they're being outcompeted by the little fish. The little fish are just running around, zipping around, eating everything. So it's more beneficial to, to take the smaller fish out, the 12 inches, you know, 12 inch fish out of that body of water, which will in turn make it become a better fishery. So it will give the bigger fish more chance to get bigger. You're gonna limit those small fish just messing everything up and, you know, mainly buggering up your fishery when you're fishing, you're only catching, you know, smaller hit fish. So if I was gonna encourage anyone in New Hampshire to take fish out, it would be the smaller fish. Cause one, they're gonna have less mercury levels. So it's gonna be healthier for you. And two, you're gonna make that fishery become a better, better fishery in the future. 
So it's actually going to benefit you to eat the smaller fish and leave those big fish alone to get bigger. You want those really good genetics to spread. So possibly, you know, the fish that has gotten to 19, 20 inches bigger, it's going to encourage those genetics to be passed down as opposed to these little squeakers zipping around, eating everything, spawning, making more baby fish, and they just have that pip squeak genetics. You just have a ton of fish in your small, in your fisheries. It's going to make it a lot less exciting after you've gotten over that initial buzz of catching fish at all. You know, you, you're going to want to catch bigger fish. Removing smaller fish is more beneficial. So I don't know if that, that kind of went on a tangent there. Anyway, I hope that was informative. I hope you guys learned something about why I don't take fish when I go fishing, mainly the mercury levels. And if I do, I try to take smaller ones. I don't take the big ones just because of how much mercury and toxins are in them. Hope everyone found this video helpful. If you did, hit the like button. If you uh, have any questions or you thought this was helpful, leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Hopefully watching more videos every week, helping you become a better angler or at least more than this novice. Thanks for watching this week. I hope you have a great weekend. Catch you next week.